Okay, so now we're going to cut into board, into stair tread number two. And so this one's got a lot going on. So here's the, the drawings, right? Okay, so I'm on an uh, eight inch Android device and I'm using SketchUp Viewer. So I'm taking two fingers and I'm going to move right over here and then I'm going to start spreading out. And basically what happens is the flow of these cuts starts right here at number one cross cut. And then it goes around up this way. Again, I'm taking two fingers, seven, eight, nine, ten, two fingers, and I get over into here. Then I get down to 11, and I do have to jump around a little bit here, but 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So that's just using the two fingers mode that's going to help me. And then <clears throat> there's so much going on that I want to be able to check off every step as I go. So I've just got a marker and I'm going to start marking them <clears throat> as I go. Because again, I, I, you can't get even one board out of sequence or you're probably, the deal is dead um, on that tread. So let's get started. I've got my headset on again. I'll have my Pandora on and I'm going to go up to right here, which is cross cut, which is step number one. This is now a board two. Again, we did board one earlier, uh, but right now we're gonna be doing board one, which is cross cut number, excuse me, it's number one cross cut at 22 inches, and then we're gonna get over to here. So I'm gonna start on that. We're gonna head over to chop saw and go from there. Again, I'm doing most of my stuff with one arm because my right one is in a sling from some surgery. So that's why I'm using the clamp because I'm not going to be able to hold the board with one arm and then and then the chop saw with the other. Plus, this board, this chop saw, the Dewalt has a lot of kick when it starts off, and so I'm going to use my left arm to start it, and then I'll use my right arm to cut. But I'm cutting number one cross cut to 22 inches. And again, I didn't make a note here, but I will later, which is two. To, to base, actually, this one we do not have to share the kerf like we did on the first one. This one, when I laid it out, I laid out everything from the left to the right. So I got my 22 inches. Well, then there's going to be a 3 incher. Then there's going to be a 13 incher and then a 9. But there's a bunch of room left at the end. So on all of these cuts, I am going to put my blade to the right of the mark, right of the mark, right of the mark, right of the mark, so that we do actually have a true cut on every single one of these. Again, we don't have to worry about the kerf on this. Okay, number two, set this edge this edge, right, up here, to the table saw fence. Set this edge to the table. Oh, I'm sorry, here's the arrow. <laughs> Just checking to make sure you were paying attention. Um, number two, set this edge to the table saw, which is this edge right here. And then set the table saw to eight inches and then rip. And again, I keep my saws calibrated. So when I set it to eight, I get an eight and it's close enough for this. And again, really important that this edge, the clean cut edge, not the nosing edge, not that nosing edge, goes up against the fence. surgeon would have a fit. All right, so we've got number two done. We have now have a board that's eight inches by whatever, 22. And I'm gonna jump over to number three. 